G'day guys, welcome to 5 Minute Fridays. I put a video up last week about doing macro photography and at the end of that I asked, do you want to do keep it at 3 Minute Thursdays or 5 Minute Fridays? On different social medias I've been contacted and said, let's do 5 Minute Fridays. Well, to be honest, it never stayed at 3 minutes anyway, so 5 Minute Fridays, here we are. In that video we did macro photography and we used the Camera Plus app, Camera Plus 2 app, I think it's called and it's really cool for macro photography. I use the legacy version of that uh, app, the Camera Plus app, on all the iPhones that I've had since the iPhone 6, I think it was, and it's a really good app. It gives us some good uh, manual functionality on that app, but in that app, in that uh, last video, I did macro photography. Tonight I'm gonna to try it because the full moon's gone now, so the moon's not coming up for a few hours yet, and uh, what we're gonna do is use that Camera Plus 2 app to see if it can shoot the Milky Way. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so in this app, um, like I said in that last video, if you hit up the top there, you've got a few different functions that you can use. You've got raw functionality on this, which a few people have asked me about, so this one also does raw. Um, and what we're gonna use tonight is, well, you can go into the manual mode on this, but it only gives you one second, and that's not good enough for shooting the stars. So we're gonna go, we're gonna try the slow shutter and see if it works. So go into slow shutter, you hit the button there with it says auto, and we're going to adjust the focus. We're going to adjust the, it's going to try and do it by itself. We're not going to let it do it by itself. We're going to manual focus. We'll scroll down until those circles that you see there and the circles that you're seeing there, they're actually a house that's a few hundred meters away over that way. And that'll be fine for focusing for the stars. So we're going to focus that until it gets nice and sharp, those lines. And we're happy with that. The shutter speed there, once you hit that S changes to the shutter speed and the exposure compensation. We're going to leave the shutter speed there at 30 seconds. If it's not at 30 seconds, put it to 30 seconds. And we'll hit the button there and off it goes. Obviously I'm on a tripod here. You can't keep holding it for 30 seconds. It's just not going to work. Wait up. It will let 30 seconds go. We'll come back. Alright, it's done that photo now. I've just got in to have a look at the photo and it's not quite as, um, it's not quite focused as well as I would like. That's probably my doing more than the app, but <clears throat> there's absolutely no galactic core there. So that's a bit of a fail as far as that goes, but we'll certainly try this app with some uh, long exposure photos in another video. What I'm gonna do now is quickly jump into the native camera app because I really do think that it's the best app for taking Milky Way photos with the iPhone 11 Pro. So I'll try it again now and we'll see how we go. Just go in there to the native camera app. Uh, you can see that it's automatically gone to the night mode with that little um, yellow button up the top there. If I touch that, and because I'm on a tripod, it should let me do a 30 second photo, and it is a 30 second photo. I'll touch the screen for focusing on those stars, hit the button, and off we go. Now, what I did on that one is I shined a torch up onto that tree and the torch came out a little bit in the uh, image there, as in the torch light came out in the image and it actually didn't look too bad. So I'll quickly bring that up and show you guys how that one looks. You can see the stars up there, looks pretty good. Again, the uh, camera app is, what the hell is that? <laughs> this is pretty cool. I got a feeling that's the SpaceX satellites I'm gonna try and shoot these with my phone. You're definitely not gonna see it with this camera, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can shoot these satellites. There's a line of satellites going across the sky right now, and that's that Elon Musk's uh, SpaceX, I would say. Hold on, I'm gonna shoot that. I'll show you what it looks like. Well, that's actually kinda of cool. Um, let's bring that tripod back around here. I, I moved the tripod a bit too much while I was shooting that, so, it only gave me 10 seconds, but yeah, have a look at this. It's, it's, it's really cool. I haven't actually done that with the phone before. So uh, you can see there, I've got one, two, three, four, there's probably 10, 15 satellites in a row there. I think there's 60 in that line. I'll check that before and I'll put some comments in the description down below. But yeah, that's pretty cool. There's like a line of lights going through the sky. Um, 
Anyway, that's five minute Thursday. We worked out that the Camera Plus 2 app is no good for Milky Way photography. That's cool. The native camera app works, works really well. And we got a bit of a bonus there with the <coughs> Uh, satellite the uh, SpaceX I think that's pretty cool anyway guys I'll see you on Monday all right catch you later